Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. We are going to continue our loyalty mech series and look at what we got today, guys. We have an adder and that adder is just crazy. It's just completely stupid and dumb and I love it. Why? Because it has 14 ballistic hard points. You can do so much with it. And I mean, the stock build comes with heavy machine guns and a medium pulse laser as well as a beagle active probe on the arm. I was stripping the, um, the active probe and the medium pulse and a ton of ammo so I could put an ER large laser into the center torso. It drops our DPS a bit, but it gives us options at long range. Here's the thing. We are running 14 heavy machine guns and obviously we want to try to go in and shred the enemies at about 160 meters range. Um, but before we can get there, we do basically nothing. And therefore the ER large laser so we can poke somebody at uh, 900 and uh, something meters, 931 meters, which is really good. Dealing 11 damage at a time, it's not massive, but again, it gives me something to play with while we are waiting for the game to unfold, for the battlefield to tighten, and then we're gonna go in and shred the enemies with the heavy machine guns. Our DPS is, by the way, 1.4 per second per machine gun. So that is... 98 is what it says here, uh, times 14, so it's uh, yeah, it's about 60. Okay, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's a good amount of DPS that we have here, especially when the enemies have no armor in the component anymore. Machine guns are extremely good at critting enemies' uh, internals. That means if whenever you deal a point of damage to the component, like to the shoulder, to the arm, whatever, you also deal... Uh, or you have a chance to deal either one crit, two crits, or even three crits, which actually applies the same amount of damage to the inner parts of the mech, so to their weapons, to their uh, electronics, uh, to their ammunition, which could also blow off. Um, but yeah, this is a very good mech if you have an enemy that doesn't have that much armor anymore and wants to just get killed. There's also, I don't know if the rule still exists, but as soon as you get a crit, there's a 10% splashback to the component. So whenever you apply a critical, you also deal 10% of that critical damage to the component back. So it just racks up as soon as the enemies have no armor anymore. And that is fan freaking tastic. That is what we are doing here. The mech is very wide though. So it's not slim like a piranha and it is big. But um, it's totally doable if you are patient. You will see that in the games. Now, in terms of skills, what are we taking here? We don't need cooldown. We don't need heat gen. The hit scan weapons uh, that we are running here, the laser, I mean, the laser has a cooldown, but the heavy machine guns, they have a rate of fire. They have no cooldown in between each shot. So this doesn't affect machine guns. Don't take it. What does affect the machine guns is range here. So I took a little bit of that so I can fire a bit earlier when I'm closing the distance. Uh, firing my heavy machine guns. It is not that impactful, but I had some leftover points and I was like, okay, let's put it in range. Why the hell not? I want magazine capacity here, so I have about 10,000 shots for my machine guns. We definitely need maximum armor hardening and skeletal density because we have to stare down our enemies. And you know what? Sometimes they stare back and they shoot and that's not great. In order to close distance quickly, speed tweak, absolutely imperative here. And I was going for a bit more anchor turn and heartbreak mobility. So in case we need to scoot and turn the other way, this is very, very helpful when we realize that the enemies are not intimidated by the plinky plink of our machine guns and they are actually fighting back and we have to scoot. So this is very, very nice. And again, we don't need any of these offensive skills here. So we can put everything into survivability, more or less. We'll climb here for more mobility. We got seismic sensor to know what's going on. Very, very handy. And then we actually maxed out radar deprivation. So enemies lose locks basically instantly when we are back in cover. No need for any cooling, by the way. So double UAV, double artillery strike it is. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the three games that are coming today. I was having so much fun. I needed to record a bit more. And yeah, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty guys, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are going to the center of the map. We are playing Assault here, by the way. And uh, yes, we don't have good damage on the laser. So this is not... Cat. Cat is meowing. Okay. Um, this is not uh, that big of a, of a damage-dealing weapon. We can just maybe suppress some enemies by just touching them in a filthy way with our laser. But um, it's not really good. Not really good. So, um, let's take a look. Moving around here to the right side. I want to see if there are any wall snipers. And I think in the early game, we're just going to stay put. We are not overextending. We're going to keep our armor for later because we need it then. And there's somebody, a cougar, going to the low ground. You want to come, buddy? You want to do that? 
Are we? Come on, man. Come on. We're gonna go in there. Ah, uh, Cats wants to go outside, I believe. So... Nah, she's meowing. Meowing like a boss. Okay, guys. Here comes the ultimate internet content. The cat! <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let's go back. Uh, where's my Edda friend? Is still here? My Cougar? What are we doing now, huh? Like, what's the deal? I think... I think I want to pop a, a UAV, like, here. See if there's anybody around. There's nobody. Oh, there are... There's PPC shots on the high ground there. Okay, let's go back. Let's actually go... No, let's go backwards. It's not... It's not worth being here. My UAV is shot down, by the way. Enemies seem to be mostly in the center. Interesting. Yeah, let's regroup. We have a machine gun build. We are a crit seeker. So let's seek some crits. Okay. There's a guy popping to the left. What happens if I move to the right here? Uh, death and destruction. Death and destruction here. That's not good. Are you coming towards me? You want some? Get some. Oh no. Oh no. Um, yeah, we gotta go. Artillery here. And I think I'm gonna drop to safety. Safety has been found. Good. Now. Now what? There's still some enemies up here in Echo 4. And we have so many people in the bottom. That's not great. Nobody's really engaged. That means if you pop up, you're gonna be the one that is getting seen and getting shot. So, <laughs> no thank you, I'd say. No thank you. There's a fight going on there. Ebon Jaguar with pulses. It's it's the bane of me. I cannot attack that. Um, yeah, Raven is going slightly. <sighs> Come on. He is uh, running a rotaries. Okay, just a little bit of a damage output there. I cannot contest that Nightstar um, fully. Enemies behind us still. Uh, again, the Jaguar is uncontested. I cannot go there and kill him. Cannot even try, I feel. But we can try to go for the Centurion. Drop another Arty Strike. Get down back. Ah, back to safety. Okay, so that was my goal. I kind of did it, but I paid for it in a very bad way. Go with the assault max. I think a bit, of, little bit of metal around us would be nice. I'm sorry, I cannot give you assistance there. Uh, and it also seems like our no Arty strike acquired. did zero, absolute no impact. Come on, friends. Come on, there, there are people right here. It's killable. Very killable. That's the night stuff from earlier. And he's, this is the Stone Rhino who's dead. Let's kill him. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to stay in the center. Because the fight happens here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we go. Rifleman. He's facing me. Okay. No. No, thank you. Okay. Go in again. Now he's not facing me. I'm in his bag. We're going to try to crit that Gauss. Did we get him? Ah, uh, he's not quite dead yet, but we can do it. We can certainly do it. Are we not doing it? Ah, uh, screw you. Come on. Pre-firing. That's a kill. Great. And that's what we are here for. Striking the enemies more than anything else. Herbie is lagged. Perfect. Heavy PPCs. Wait, they have uh, no minimum range anymore, right? But they have damage fall off. That thing is killable. What is going on here? Holy crap. Kill that. Come on. Oh, I'm getting too cocky. I know, I know, I know. But if we stay behind him, that Jaguar behind the Jag. Yeah, he's hot now. Lagged him. Behind him. Ugh. And another one, because why not? Man, I think I'm gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> What's going on? Ooh, the Warthog. The Warthog. That's a dire wolf. Can we take a dire wolf? We'll see about it. We're gonna take this piece of cover. Uh, all right. Not even shooting because I don't want to give away my position. But now we're in his bag. Let's go. He's turning around. He's turning around and I'm... I'm gonna go for him. I'm getting cocky. Uh, you know what? If we lose here, if we die here, so be it. I should not be in his front. I know. But I wanted to see... I just wanted to see 827 damage. Yeah, man. Problem is, uh, yes, we should have waited for somebody else to engage, uh, to help us out. But who's here? There was nobody around and there was a sniper. Uh, so no just staying there and getting shot to pieces by the high ground guy would have not been an option as well. Um, I think a thing I could have done better would have been waiting wait. two seconds before engaging. 
So I'd be in optimal range, obviously, and in his back, maybe even getting a side torso off of him. And then he wouldn't be able to get that much damage out on me. First of all, he has less weapons. Secondly, he also uh, would have had very little heat management to go with all of that. Okay. Ooh, the fire starter down. Um, the dire wolf is killable if you see him. Um, yeah, let's see. I mean, it's 7 and 11. It's, it's basically over. It is basically over. It's kind of interesting to see that the dire wolf shook so much, though, in the end. GG, everybody. <laughs> what a game! What a mech! Ah. Oh. I mean, it's, it's a very opportunistic mech. We need to go in when the enemies are distracted and then we can shred them. But shredding we did. Holy hell, we got five killing blows with two KMDDs, 827 damage done, 300 taken, nine components destroyed, and that's just the first game. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, guys, let's go. We're playing HPG Manifold. We're playing Assault. We certainly want to hit the lucky eye. It's very, very important. And I think I'm not going to try to get on a ramp and trade hits at long range. I mean, I could in the early game, but i probably take some return fire. And I want to preserve my armor for the mid to late game. We are definitely not an early game guy here. It's just for poking. You know, that big large laser is just for poking. It's more like like an opportunity we have and not necessarily something that is you know playing towards our strengths which are going in and shredding enemies to pieces so let's see Kirby is coming with us love to see it um let me see if there's anybody up high i don't see anybody moving yet um yeah let's drop down below i would say I think down below is good for us. Artillery strike we can uh, maybe sneak upon the enemies here if somebody is trying to be cheesy and sneaky. Um, we're gonna. Uh, you're gonna come, my friend, my Irby friend. Call a grid, please. No, he's not gonna come. But yeah, what I want to say is, if there is any light maker who wants to be cheeky, I'm here for him. I'm absolutely here for him. So nobody there means we probably wanna drop UAV here. Sure. UAV activated. Just want to know if somebody is close, and since there, that's a no, there's a guy up here. Are we gonna go? We are going to go. Regroup with the team. They took care of my UAV, sadly. Right? Good. So, Mad Cat is a perfect battle buddy. Where did the guy go? Need assistance? Need assistance? Where? There's a guy. <laughs> so, we gave away our position, which is usually not great. Oh, and I forgot, there's no ramp here. There is no ramp. That was, that could have been deadly for us, actually. So, there seem to be more enemies in the Echo 6 area. Missiles are flying. Don't see anybody up here. Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna chill, we're gonna wait. There's no need to go in right now. Um, actually, in fact, I want this spot down here using my very, very low profile to peek over and see if we can find somebody Target other than the guy up there, which is a Stormcrow. If he drops, I'm ready. There we go. We can shoot. Oh, he's dropping. <laughs> Let's go. This is our target, guys. Bread. Eh. Come on. Turn around. Yes. Waste your shot. Yes. Um, double Ultra 10s. I'm alone. I don't know what his status is. Status is that he's running and he's the same speed as me. Uh, I need to acquired. abort this hunt. I know. Could have been great. New target. Uh, I should have maybe actually gone in when I said I'm ready for him. Um, so that I was a bit closer. New target but acquired. Hey, there are plenty more mechs on the battlefield that I can touch in a filthy way with my machine guns. Archer going down. Roughneck going down. Why? Is there a fight down here? Is there a party? I'm ready. Totally ready. We have some assault mechs on the high ground there. So these guys are snipers. <sighs> That's a thing I don't want to do. Coming in, bushy. Yeah. I am happy that I got my Arty Strike out, but that's not uh that's not a spot I want to go through. Okay, friends, we're gonna do it together. Come on. Papa you will be here. There's nobody here. There's a Stormcrow. That's the Stormcrow. He made it. He made it far and wide. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Can I catch him? If he hesitates just a little bit at some point, I might be able to catch up to him. But we are losing the fights, and they had a light mech here. Hellfire. I'm I'm not, not in a good spot here. Not at all. Oh crap. Oh, there's a sniper. There's a sniper. And I got hit in the back by probably ATMs. What's the timber? Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna die. 
What a what a nice Don't position you got there, my friend. Uh, uh, I don't care about that UAV. It's not relevant to the fight. Come on, take that thing up there. And we're so split. Is this even winnable? New target acquired. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But hey, I'm gonna shoot my machine guns now. Let's go. I'm gonna shred that fool. If we get an angle on him. They're going for leg, huh? Okay. Actually, let's stay on side torso. Target Sorry for destroyed. the team damage. Acquired. Warning. 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 Okay. Two and five. Warning. Winnable? Warning. Uh, I, I don't think so. Say hello to him, so he's a bit suppressed. Warning. He's probably Target now gonna acquired. get angry and go for me instead. Okay, Adi there. Yeah, see? See? New target acquired. Okay, okay. Roughneck is closing in. We are two and six. If we New can bring them acquired. here. Oh, enemy behind us. Hey, Orion. You got armor buffs, I heard. So, what about heavy machine guns? Uh, I don't know. He's on me. Come on. Want to try to somehow get behind him? Uh, yeah, we can. And we could kill? Could we? Uh, he's overheated. Warning. Okay, we got another kill on an Orion. As in, oh, this is everybody. This is freaking everybody. Uh, but yeah, the game is over, basically. So let's target go in for acquired. the adder. We are in your back, buddy. New target acquired. You got the same idea, huh? Right. Yeah, that's fine. So, early split made it so that we didn't really do a lot. But, oh god, the damage is real on this. The crit machine. It's so much critical damage that we are throwing out here. Holy hell, holy hell, guys. So, yeah, we did a thing. Uh, team collapsed, though. Well, it was kind of a, an awkward situation there. GG, anyway, we got two killing blows out of that. Two KMDDs with about 700 damage done and five components destroyed, guys. That is, uh, yeah, I would say a nice game. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. We are playing the Vitric Forge. We are playing Skirmish, and we have a disconnect on the enemy side. And uh, it's unfortunate. I try not to go and hunt him because that I think it's poor sportsmanship. I just don't like that. Maybe he comes back and, um, you know, I want to rather fight 12 we 12 and win and hopefully have a good feeling about it. And even if we lose, then, uh, you know, we deserve it. He has a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, hags. All right. Yeah, they are waiting for that. Do we go back down? Seems like nobody's really here with me. Okay. I mean, there's a guy, one guy. Zap! Ooh, hoo, hoo, right between the legs. I think I'm gonna go down again. Speaking of legs, I should probably take the ramp. Um, and yes, we have one guy here as a grasshopper who is really late for the fight. Speaking of, I don't care if I'm a little late for the party. So we want we want to be in team cohesion. That's the important part of it. But our early game is really bad anyways. So in the mid game, when the battlefield has tightened up a bit, we can start doing something. New target so 1,400 meters, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Gotta watch the gaps hey, here. Assistance. Somebody's calling for assistance, like actively? Acquired. Getting hit? Uh, friend? Got something over no. There. <laughs> just, just, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna go there. He's not getting shot. Artillery strike. Artillery. Nah, he has at a hundred, he's at a hundred percent. Okay, there's a guy. Roop. And out. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Target. Can he even oh, retaliate? Oh, PPCs. I don't want to get any of those. And my laser beam directs these guys right Indeed. towards me. I think Atlas New is a fantastic acquired. battle buddy. Absolutely. Yeah, people are rotating hard here. Like, really hard. I drop Hardy on the high ground. I don't know if it's going to do a thing, but hey, uh, maybe. There's a Crusader up there. Getting shot in return. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. UAV here. We need to know if there are more enemies around. And yeah, there are some. There are some. Eat vision at that point. Uh, when to go in? That's my question. My Atlas is poking. Yeah, but everybody's waiting here. This is not a good spot to be in. All right, let's take the other Atlas as our battle buddy. New target right, right, right. Nobody here, really. Gonna move around a little bit. I know, it's risky. New target but I want to get an acquired. angle of some sort. Yep. Uh, drop another UAV here, right in the middle. Good. There we go. People know now. Uh, assault mech up here? Showing me his back? I mean... I mean... Let's try! Where did he go? 
There he is. Okay, I hope he got something done. Okay. So, I try to go for maybe a side torso crit on the Fafnir's weapons. Uh, oh, cat is meowing. I don't know if you could hear that. Uh, but we don't have a good fighting situation at all. Everybody is up top. Uh, we are losing two people or missing two people already. Atlas is at 88%. I mean, he's long range. There's a guy. Okay, 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 okay. We want to try to get behind him. He's a brawler, though. Okay, he's probably regrouping with his team, so we're gonna try to go in his back. Let's do it. Come on, show me your back, show me your back. There we go. That is it. Perfect strike here. Okay, what about you, my friend? I'm gonna try to be in his back as well. Ah, uh, it's messy, it's messy, but we got him in the end. It's two and three, it's totally doable. Let me go backwards here, try to get some kind of cover. Ugh! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, Cat wants to get outside. Uh, she's annoying me. I know you want to see Cat now. I am very well aware. Um, cool. Uh, not cool. This guy right above me. Ugh. The thing is, we need teams, teammates, teammates, teammates. We have, we don't have them right now. There are a bunch of people on the other side in Charlie Four, and there's stuff all the way up there. They really play that high ground game. Oh, Cat. Please don't poop on the floor! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go and regroup with the others. Somebody killed himself. Was that necessary? I don't know. Uh, again, we are a late game mag. How much can we do though? He's a juggernaut. Was the guy I hit earlier, I think. Some people are here. There's a guy in the bottom. We gotta do something now. Just waiting and doing nothing is not an option. Okay. They're repositioning. I don't know. I saw somebody here as well. Is he killable? Totally. Totally killable. We got him. Crusader is very damaged earlier. Side torso. Come on. We'll take it. Center torso right after. Come on. There we go. Ah, it costs us an arm and a leg. Oh, just an arm and a side torso. But I think it was necessary. You know, getting something done here. Now we are waiting for the guys to follow up. Come on. We need that. We need that support. Oh, there's a guy behind me. And in front of me. Uh, that's not good. No, it's a hunchback with hags. Is he gonna go for me? Not really, not really. Side torso? Get that hag down. Center torso? Come on, the other side. Hag down. Eh, go away. There we go. So, five and eight. <laughs> positioning, positioning is key. Oh, another guy dropped. He's coming towards me. Gotta go around. Right or left? Right or left? Okay, now he's engaged. <laughs> We're gonna go now. Ha! Oh, he's up top? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No! Ah! He got me! <laughs> Maybe he's dead already, I don't know. That was one guy. Oh, there he is. 100. Yes! Totally take that Crusader. Zap! And another one down, and I am about to drop now. Yeah, we need to break that line of sight. Component destroyed. Okay. We gotta dive down. Hi. Are you killable? You are not. No, but I am. <laughs> what a fun game, though. Holy crap. Man, we made so much happen in the mid game there. So now it's on my teammates to get things done. All right, Cat is chilling. Good. <laughs> so we have an urban mech with double snub nose. That's oh, still a pretty fresh mech there with the double MRM 30 build. Get that cicada. Guy behind you. Ah, target rich environment. Gotta go for it. Cicada is definitely killable. Ah, oh, he got stuck somewhere. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Shoot! So, Baron of Red down, our last guy. Fun game, though. So, if you have half dead enemies, important thing is half dead enemies, you can actually, you know, sneak in and burst them down. We got four killing blows here with three assists and one kill most damage dealt. 662 damage done, eight components destroyed. I'm having fun in this little guy. It's not a good mech by any means, but it is unique in a way that no other mech can do. So I would say thumbs up to the adder. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's mech content every single day on this channel. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.